Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at two-dimensional arrays. In a previous video we looked at one-dimensional arrays, and a one-dimensional array is just one column. So if you have an array of cities, you'd have three elements in the array, and Paris, London, and Rome would be in that array. Um, that's useful, but sometimes you need to hold more or different elements in an array. So you want to have basically a table in an array. And you could do that pretty easily. Here I have a table um, Europe city, European cities, American cities, and Asian cities. So I have three columns. Now this is going to be two dimensional because there's multiple columns. And I have three columns and in each column I have three cities. So what I want to do is create an array that has these cities in it and I want to print it out. So I'm going to delete this right now. Let's go into Visual Studio or Visual the Visual Basic environment and let's look at how we do this. Okay, so I named a sub, sub 2D array and I declare it, it's called location, here's an array called location and it's three columns by three rows and that is that is going to be equivalent to three columns by three rows. So what I have highlighted here is what I'm going to populate based on this right here in the code. And you can see I declare a loop integer, a loop one, a loop two integer, an x column, an x row. Now I want to populate the array. So what I do is in the first column, here's the first column, Europe, I put in the cities. So in column one, row one, I put Paris. In column one, row two, I put London. In column three, row three, I put Rome. Just like um, the VBA language cells one, two, you have row and column. So in column two, I put New York. In column two, row two, I put Chicago. Column two, row three, I put Los Angeles. You can see how this works. Okay, now I want to print it. So I, I'm going to need two loops. One loop to loop through the columns and one loop to loop through the rows. And here's my outer loop for the columns. And here's my inner loop for the rows. So what I'm going to do is in each column, I'm going to go through all the rows in the column. And since I know the size of the arrays, 3, 3, I can just do 4 loop 1 equals 1 to 3. Within that, for loop 2, this is the row loop, for the row equals the 1, the row equals the 3, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to input the value of, of my array. Now, here's the most important part is, which value? So initially, loop 1 is going to be 1, and loop 2 is going to be 1. So 1, 1 is going to return Paris. And then it's going to loop, and loop 2 is going to be incremented. So now I'm going to have 2, 1. Well, that's London. And you can see it's going to go on. It's going to loop again, and loop three is going to be uh, loop two is going to be three, and then that's going to be Rome. After I fall out of this loop the first time, I want to increase my row, or I want to make the row back to two. So I'm going to be over here, and I want to increase my column. So that means I'll be here. And at this point, I go to next loop one. So this is going to be two now. Loop one is two, and loop 2 is going to be set back to 1. That's going to mean I'm, I'm right here. It's going to be New York. Okay, so let's step through this and see how it works. We're looping. There. Okay, I'm trying to get everything on the screen. Okay, we're looping. It puts Paris in the cell. It's looping again. It puts London in the cell. Then it goes to Rome. Now it falls out of that loop. Row goes back to two. Column goes back to uh, one plus the previous column. And now we're looping again. It selects a cell. So it moved over to U.S. Now we're going to loop through U.S. cities. And now it's going to fall out of that loop. And it's going to go into the Asia column. 
right there went to the Asia column and now it's going to populate the array that way and now it's out of the sub so you can see what we did was we populated the array here you have your rows is first and then you have your column and then we loop through the array first by first loop is the column loop second loop is the row loop and if you do that you'll be able to create an array in VBA a two-dimensional array so basically you're gonna have a table and you're gonna be able to print that table now you could do a lot of things with this you can instead of having it statically populated like this you could dynamically populate it with with a similar loop you have the loops here so you know how to maneuver on the spreadsheet so you can um, create something that will populate these uh, arrays here instead of these being hard-coded you create some variables and you would populate them just like this loop 2 loop 1 you would populate them so you could do a lot of stuff with this you can dynamically uh, populate a two-dimensional array and you could hold it in memory and then you could compare it versus things or do whatever you want um, but that's basically this video it shows you how to do that if you have any questions let me know and please comment